Hi, I really enjoyed the video about WOW uh, and its unique properties, uh, and I happen to have discovered another one myself not too long ago. I've been thinking about the divisibility test that we use for 9 and 3. Uh, you're probably familiar with this. Any multiple of 9, the digits themselves will add up to a multiple of 9. We can see this pretty obviously in numbers like 36, which is 4 times 9. Add up 3 and 6, and you get 9. 441, which is 49 times 9, 4 plus 4 plus 1 equals 9. 9,207, which is 1,023 times 9, you add up the digits and you get 9 plus 2 plus 7 plus 0 is 18, which is, of course, a multiple of 9, which you can see by adding up 1 and 8, which gives you 9. This is also true, of course, of any multiple of 3. In fact, more generally, it's true of any multiple of n minus 1 in base n, or any multiple of a factor of n minus 1 in base n. So, in hexadecimal, for example, base 16, it's true of any multiple of 15, or any multiple of the factors of 15, 3, or 5. Uh, and this is true of any base, you know, n minus 1 will always have this particular divisibility test. What's remarkable about wow as a, as a number is that this divisibility test applies in any base. So in base 10, in hexadecimal, any multiple of wow, the digits of that multiple will add up themselves to a multiple of wow. But it also works in base 3, it works in base 512, it works in hexadecimal, it works in any base, no matter how many digits it takes, no matter how many fingers an alien species has and whatever number system it uses, WOW will always have the same divisibility test, no matter what the number system is. So, if that doesn't kind of blow your mind, I don't know what will. Thanks for watching.